Hi everyone, today we're going to make rosettes like these. They're usually uh, called paper wheels, but they might be called rosettes because they can use, be used for a bunch of different types of craft ideas. And uh, we're going to put a center in it so that it holds together. If you make a whole bunch of them together, you can make them like a wreath. Uh, they're very pretty. We're going to use patriotic colors, red, white, and blue for Veterans Day, and ours will look like this. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for this project, we need to make the rosette. We're gonna make it out of some plain paper, and uh, we're gonna hold our paper that way, not this way. We, we wanna go ahead and do our fold correctly this way, and we're going to do two papers and fold them up so that we have a long piece. And I'm gonna put my two edges together and um, push that flat. So I like to go from the center to the edge. So there's one, and here's my second one. So um, I'll do it on one more paper so we can see. So I'm starting out with my paper like this, right? and I'm gonna fold it up. I call this a hot dog fold. I'm gonna make sure we do hot dog and not hamburger. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but I'm gonna try to line up my edges, my corners, go from the center to the edge and squish it flat. It's a nice flat edge. Now all we gotta do with these is cut on our fold. So if your fold isn't perfect, it's fine. You just wanna make sure that it's the long way, that whichever way that you're holding it, that it's the longest fold, not the shorter one. And we'll just cut along those folds. And you should have two pieces of paper that you're doing this with. And each paper will make two very long rectangles. So there's two. And then I want to make two more. So I want to take one of my other papers that I folded, and it's folded the same way. And I want to cut along there. And the reason we want to use all this paper is because if you want rosettes to be smaller, you really need to be very careful about that. So we're not going to try to make it super fancy. We just want to make it where um, we can do it ourselves and not have to worry about uh, how big the paper is. Sorry about my chair creaking there. So all we got to do with these, this is going to take you a couple minutes, but we just want to do what's called an accordion fold. And I'm just going to fold it over a little bit. It's about as wide as my finger or so, but a little bit wider is okay. So first I'm going to go fold over this way, and then I'm going to flip it over and fold it this way where the edge is. Now let me show you before I go on any further. I'm just going ahead and pushing those down. And this is what it looks like. So I'm making a zigzag line. And that's all I'm doing with my fold. I'm gonna go back and forth. I'm gonna flip it back over. I'm gonna take these parts already folded and flip these over. We call this an accordion fold and so that it'll look like a fan. That's basically what a rosette is, is a fan, but it goes around all the way in a, in a circle. So then I'll flip it over and keep on going. And it's okay if they're not perfectly even or perfectly straight, it's totally fine. I'm just gonna try to get them to go across here to where this top is here and this top is here. If yours is slanted, don't worry about it, just keep on going. And some of your folds might be a little bit bigger than others, and that's okay too. We're going to make plenty of room on this rosette so that um, if, you're, if you have some that are big and some that are small, it's going to work out just fine. So we just keep on folding backward and forward and backward and forward. So I just keep flipping my paper. And I'm probably going to have a little piece left over. That's fine. This is probably not going to be even without using something for measuring, like a ruler. We don't need to worry about that. Oh, this one actually worked out okay. It's probably not as big as my other folds. So here I am with my folded paper. If I lay it out flat, it looks like that. So we want to do this with all four pieces, and then um, we want to go ahead and color them in with stripes of a flag. So I'm going to go ahead and keep folding. Let's make sure that all your folds can get done first. And just go over and keep flipping. Go over and fold and flip again. And just keep flipping it back and forth and flip. And I'm 
another fold and flip and another fold and flip and I can tell my um, zigzag folds here this time I can feel it that it's a little bit bigger than the others and that's okay if they're not perfectly even or if they're or anything like that none of this has to be perfect to work out and look great so just keep on going with them fold here and flip and fold here and flip and then my last fold if you may have done this on the first one we've just got a little bit left that's fine too so all of these what's going to happen with them when we make the rosette we're just going to put them together like that that was really easy right we just let a downward fold go into a downward fold so here's a couple of points that are going down and i'll just do that and glue it so we'll get ready to do those as soon as we're done folding let's finish our folds and the first fold and flip and second fold and i'll just keep on going flip Keep on flipping. Just make sure that you give it a good smush when you make that fold flat. Give it a good push. Make sure you're pushing too as you go. So you've got nice clean lines on your folds and that they're and you can definitely tell where they are. You can really see them on here, and that's really good. So you want to make sure that when you make your folds, that you push really well all, all the way across the line. So just make sure that you've done that. If you don't think your other ones are that great, just go ahead and you would fold them back up. There's my last flip. Okay, so let's say I look at this. I say, well, my folds don't look that great. I can't see them that well. I'll just go ahead and put it back together. And I'm just going to go ahead and, and push down. I'll push down here on the desk, or maybe I'll just push this side with my fingers, and then it'll look better, and it'll look more crisp so that you can definitely tell where my folds are. Last one. There's my fold. And flip. And fold. And you should know how to do this by this point. So um, if you need a little bit more time and you need to pause the video and I'm working on ahead, don't worry about it. But if you are ready and you're on your fourth piece, what we're going to do is make this a uh, rosette that has the colors of the American flag in it for Veterans Day. Now, um, not because we necessarily want to celebrate it as a holiday, but rosettes are a beautiful, fun way to make a quick decoration. These are great for birthdays. They're great for all kinds of different things if you want to do these at home. And um, you can make them look fancier with by adding some little things, some little trim and stuff. So we're just going to do a basic rosette today. I'm going to do my last flip. All right. And now I want to go ahead and glue my um, pieces of my rosette uh, together. So all four of my pieces, and I'm going to get ready to glue them because we've got to give it some time to dry before we put it together. 